Hey everyone, this is Dave from DD Performance Research, and this is the latest in our video series on the STU Wheel to Wheel Supra. Uh, this is the interior video. This is going to be the last one for a little while. Uh, so I apologize for the camera angles, but I'm the only one here in the shop right now, and this is the best I could figure out to, to be able to actually run the interior components and have you be able to see what's going on. Uh, so, first things first, you have a uh, Aimsport data logging dash. It's an MXG, uh, it has lots of really cool features. You've got a CAN switch panel that's from uh, ECU Masters, and then you have a CAN data logger from Pro AFI. All right, so CAN switch panel is on because the power is on. If you turn the power up, with the main power up, goes off. Turn it back on, it comes on, off, on. All right, so if you want to turn stuff on, you can go ahead and that's the cool suit. I can prime the fuel pump. I can run the blower. So that bilge blower blows through two ducts up onto the uh, windshield. It basically serves a defroster function. You can turn on the fan, and uh, we can run the starter. Now, mind you, the car's not powered on right now, so it just purely runs the starter. We have it set up like that so that you can actually do crank priming as well as just regular starting functions. Uh, hazard switch just turns on the brake lights. So, for instance, if the car... Uh, has a malfunction, the track is pulled over inside the track, you can turn the brake lights on without having to stand on the pedal. And then of course that runs the uh, windshield wiper motors. Uh, so this just turns on the accessories, so that'll be just your gauge power. So powers up the digital dash here and powers up the Pro-FI can gauge. So there you go, cool stuff. Um, if you wanted to turn the car on, we could do this. It'll turn on main power. That'll actually fire up the ECU, fuel pump, all that other stuff. We're not going to do that right now because I don't want the fuel pump running. Um, for an extended period of time, we still have to uh, purge the tank and put fresh gas in it. But that's basically how the uh, can switches work. Um, it does all run through the ECU master or just, uh, PMU, which is right here. Sorry, it's a little dark under there, but uh, so the power management unit is pretty cool. Um, it basically is like a standalone engine management system, but for the power system of the car. It replaces fuses and relays, does everything solid state. It's programmable and resettable. So if you have something go out on you on the track, rather than having to replace a fuse, um, it will actually self-reset after a, a user set period of time. And uh, then you can also go ahead and uh, just power cycle the whole system, turn it back on again, and that'll reset as well. Uh, so you have a adjustable shifter here uh, for the six-speed transmission. And you've got an enclosure, uh, which also has a lid that bolts on top of it for the dry sump reservoir, spark removable steering wheel. That's a little uh, uh, bucket there to hold his radio, which plugs into his helmet. And then you've got the uh, fire system. So you've got a fire handle right here. And then there's another one that is behind the driver's seat over here that can be pulled by somebody trying to rescue the driver from the car which is also why the kill switch is right here. Can you be easily accessed through the window? Uh, you've got three reservoirs there. Those are for two for brake, one for clutch. And uh, then you've got your Pro-FI 128 engine management system. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the cool suit over there. So yeah, pretty, pretty neat stuff. Uh, we'll do some more videos later on down the road once we've actually got the car uh, tuned and uh, maybe uh, even do a, a mobile video on the track. But for now, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, we'll post another video again in another uh, couple of weeks. Thanks, and have a great day.